everyone, it's Samantha, and today I've got our meals and grocery haul. I will include the jump to the meals down below if you just want to jump straight to the meals. Look in the description and click on the time jump. So for fresh stuff, we got the 50-50 spring mix. That's just our favorite one. It's 50% spring mix, 50% baby spinach, then broccoli. Olivia's kind of over the broccoli now, so I don't make it for her as much as I was. It seemed like I was making it for her like every single day. And then this last couple weeks, she hasn't really been super into it, but she's still loves the strawberries so I got strawberries some green peppers jazz apples for my husband I know he's got at least one so I just got a few this week baby carrots cauliflower for a recipe matchstick carrots and then for sandwich meats we're gonna try some stuff that's new we actually went to town on this roast beef earlier it's low sodium roast beef and so I gave Olivia this for lunch and she loved it, ate a bunch of it. I also had a sandwich, so there's not much left. We didn't get very much of it to begin with because I wasn't sure how much she would like that. And then rotisserie seasoned chicken breast as always. And then I also got this mesquite turkey breast. So we're gonna try that one out too. They're all Boar's Head brand. Then I got a lot of bread stuff this week. I got buns, we're gonna do pulled pork. We're also gonna do enchiladas, so I got some flour tortillas. And then I just wanted bagels, so I got some whole wheat bagels. I figure Olivia's gonna want my bagel, so I better get the whole wheat, at least it's a tiny bit better. And then for meats, all I got was some beef stew meat. We're gonna do beef stew. Then for Olivia, since she has absolutely refused any of the puree, she will only eat prune puree and that is it. She won't even take a bite of anything else and if she does take a bite, she spits it right out. So we are totally done with the purees now. So I wanted a couple of more finger food options. She is starting to hold things and like to bite them. So I thought these raviolis would be really good since she could bite into these. And they're just, you know, the Gerber kind. I've got the beef and tomato and then turkey and vegetable and she's never had anything like these so it'll be interesting to see what she thinks of those and also I got some yogurt bites and these are supposed to kind of dissolve in her mouth. She has been really liking a certain kind of those teething wafers that kind of dissolve in your mouth so I think she'll probably like those as well. And we're just giving those things a try. I just like to change things up. I give her mostly kind of the same things that I eat but I like to have some you know toddlery kind of options too. And some more Colby Jack cheese. I have some, but I'm going to be making enchiladas and I need lots of cheese for that. Baby lima beans, we'll have those for lunches. And then to go with the bagels, I've got the strawberry, which I always get with my bagels. And then they had black cherry. And this one, this one says new on it. So I'm excited to try that. I love cherry stuff. Then for canned and whatever goods, I got some whipped cream, some more barbecue sauce. This is the one we like, Jack Daniels Original Number no. 7. It's really good. I got some green chili enchilada sauce. I already have one can, so I think between the two cans I'll be fine. I'm going to try to make some for the freezer too, so that'll come in handy. Bouillon cubes, and then... These two beans are for lunches. Olivia has been really liking black beans, so I thought we'd try some other ones. Um, actually, she likes garbanzo beans, too. We've already had those. And then fancy red beans. <laughs> we'll see if she likes those. And then French-style green beans for dinner. Beef broth, some milk. This is an impulse. Strawberry and frosted Pop-Tarts just sounded good to me. And then I also got us some donuts and one cookie. Let's see. Got... A double chocolate for Johnny, um, chocolate iced, and then I got two fried croissants. So four donuts total, and then there's also a sugar cookie in there. Um, so I didn't think I don't think I did too bad this week. I got lots of stuff, and my total is 88.48, and that will definitely get us through the week. And there's lots of lunch options. I still have quite a few lunch options. Already. So here's a look at our meal plan. We're going to do baked chicken and roasted veggies. I do this the same way all the time. I think I have split chicken breasts. So I'll do for that. And then pulled pork and I'm going to do fajita veggies. I've been loving that lately. Uh, and also green beans that night. And then I'm going out the next night. And so Johnny will just have leftovers. He loves pulled pork. So he'll be happy with that. Then I'm going to be making the chicken enchiladas. I'm going to make enough for me to eat. Uh, maybe enough for Olivia to try. I think there's probably a lot of salt in it, but I'll probably let her try it anyway. I don't make it very spicy or anything. And then Johnny doesn't like enchiladas, so I'll stick the rest of it in the freezer. I'm going to make as much as I can with the supplies I have, and then I can just take that out for lunches sometimes. So he'll have fajita nachos. I'll just make him up some fajita nachos. 
then stir fry one night, and then for the weekend I'll do a big pot of vegetable beef stew in the crock pot, and then we'll have leftovers Sunday and hopefully go out to eat for lunch on Sunday or Saturday, one or the other, and then I'll just cook something really simple for our lunch at home um, the other weekend day, and that is it. So let me go ahead and show you guys our meals. Dinner tonight is something I've been making a bunch lately. It's just baked chicken and roasted veggies. I also made some brown rice this time. But I've been making this the same way for the, I don't know, for a long, long time, but especially these last few weeks, we've had this at least once a week. These are just split chicken breasts. We won't eat all of the meat, so I'll just take the rest of it off the bone and stick it in the freezer for some other meal. All I did with it was add seasoned salt, cracked black pepper, and parsley, and then the broccoli and carrots have olive oil, salt, and pepper, and the rice is just plain. Since Jung doesn't like enchilada casserole, I made him chicken fajita nacho, so it's just tortilla chips with the same thing I always do. I'm pretty sure I have a video recipe. I will include it down below. And I'm having enchilada casserole. It's going to be very sloppy this time. I added lots of the mixture instead of mostly tortillas, and so I grabbed a bowl for mine. Dinner tonight is a different take on my regular old stir-fry lo mein type dish. We really liked the zucchini and onions at one of those Japanese steakhouse places where they do the hibachi grill, and so I decided to kind of replicate that. So we've got just zucchini and onions. I went really light on the teriyaki sauce this time because I made enough that Olivia and I can share some for lunch. I'm gonna let her try it. So I didn't wanna really coat it in the soy sauce. And then I made fried rice to go with that. It's just the brown rice from yesterday that I stuck in the fridge and I just threw a scrambled egg chopped up really tiny. So it's kind of just a take on an old favorite we used to love. Dinner tonight was an epic fail. I forgot to stick our pork roast in the crock pot. I didn't realize it until about like 4 p.m. And so, yeah, no dinner. We decided to get pizza. They had a good deal on the extra large pizza for $10. And so I went ahead and got a couple of other things that were on special. A cookie pie thing. I'm not sure what they call that, but it's chocolate chip. Thought that looked good. We've never tried that dessert before. And then I wanted cheese sticks, so I got some cheese sticks. And then for pizza, we got the extra large pizza. Johnny's half has pepperoni and my half has green peppers and onions. I've been on a fajita kick. I don't know what it is. For dinner tonight, we are having pulled pork. I got a huge pork roast a while back, had it in the freezer, and I went ahead and used half of it tonight. It made a ton. We will have this again tomorrow night. You see, there's just tons of it. So what I did was I just threw it in the crock pot with some water, cooked it on low all day until it was nice and tender, and it was just completely falling apart. Then I shredded it, pulled out any of the fat chunks, and then put barbecue sauce over it and stuck it in the oven. I like a little bit more barbecue sauce, so I put more on mine. I've got some sauteed squash. I just sliced it really thin, added salt and pepper and olive oil, just sauteed it until it was a little bit browned up. And then the broccoli and carrots, like I always do in the oven, with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Dinner tonight is leftover pulled pork with green beans. The green beans are just French style green beans from a can. I threw in a bouillon cube per can, so two bouillon cubes and two cans. And I also threw in some minced onion. Usually I put pepper in it and for the life of me, I can't figure out how I forgot the pepper. <laughs> These do not have pepper, so I'll probably put pepper over the top. I just realized that. I've been really liking when I make a meal and it can last two dinners worth and it's so easy to make a different side but like the main dish or be making a big pot of soup or stew or something I've really liked that lately because it saves me a lot of time just reheating something so I think after the Thanksgiving holiday week I'm going to try to stick with having something last us two meals